I've been out helping these guys pick pumpkins since I was a little little kid. And every year I just keep coming back. It's lots, it's lots of fun. DJ Buckman's last day of summer means heading into the fields that back up to his Pittsford home and tossing gourds to guys like Matt Jamison, who's catching pumpkins instead of pigskins this September because... You don't make money playing high school football. Some people think picking pumpkins is going, you know, down to Powers, and just picking them out of the patch, but they don't know that we got to come out here, pick them off the vines, take them down there, clean them all off, and make them nice and neat. As I walk along here and I see even the corn stalks and the beautiful flowers and the colors of them, it's just a feast for the eyes. And um, the apple pies are baking inside, and I smell that, and I just it just all blends with the colors of the flowers. Suzanne Ferraro of Fairport treats herself to those colors every late September for her birthday. The Christmas in the air, it just makes me come alive. I just love it. It's, I think it's like almost like a rebirth, the kind of feeling of um, excitement as a new season comes and a new season in our lives. And, um, and I look forward to it. That's why I live in this part of the country. I was born and raised here, and I really enjoy just the freshness of it. And it, it just re-stimulates you. No, no, no. And pushes Dan Skelton up a ladder to thatch teepees like these that have stood at Powers Farm Market for 25 years. Accomplishment, I mean, as far as, I mean, it's a lot of work to finish these. I mean, it takes us about probably a good, almost a good month to do these. How's that do for that hole? Just looking at them, you just think about them, I think. And, uh, uh, it brings a lot of enjoyment for people, especially once we get the pumpkins in there and everything. I think it, it really symbolizes autumn, I think. Jim Maroney, R News. How's it going?